Hey everybody, Brad back. It's the weekend and I'm puttering around on the Camaro. And uh, I just thought I'd have a little tip for people here. Okay, so um, changing out the motor mounts in here. And uh, as you can see, they're not there right now. They mount right there on the, on the frame rails. Well, on the cross member. And um, so... Here's the new mounts, right there, and uh, yeah, nice and new, and here's one of the old mounts, I think actually this is the good one, one of them was completely collapsed on the passenger side here, so the motor was actually sitting low on this side and the fan was hitting the shroud, yeah, interesting. So, um, the deal with this is, when you go to switch these, you'll find that uh, there are bolts up here that go on the top side to bolt the mount down, and there are nuts on the bottom side. Yeah, nuts on the bottom. So, problem with that is, you can't get at the damn things from underneath. So, I was looking on the internet. There's a few guys there with a uh, couple of web pages or whatever, nasty Z28 and that. And they have some good info there regarding, you know, ways to get them out. So if the engine was in the car, this would be a real hitch. But, okay, so I'm just going to pause this for a second while I climb under the car here. And I'm going to show you what goes. Okay, so this is the passenger side. And a rear driver's side. So, you look from the underneath here. Looking up in here to gain access, I have to go up through here. So, this will get me to the, that'll get me to the bottom hole in the mount right there. And so, you know, people were saying, oh, well, you need to put uh, a distributor wrench, what have you, up in that hole to get at that. But I was able to get at that one with a socket and extensions and a swivel. But these top ones, and so, here, uh, driver's side. Oh, I don't know what you can see here. It's the same deal anyway. So, um, very difficult getting up in there. There's a hole right up here where you can actually get the wrench through uh, a extension and a socket. Two short ones actually. You can't get a long one in there because of restrictions here with the A-arm and that. But you can get a socket up in there and... Uh, Get that onto one of the bolts for the top of the mount. Um, but the other one, you're in tough. You're in really tough. You are trying to reach up through. Oh boy, where is it now? <sighs> trying to reach up through here on the top side of the lower A arm to get up at that one bolt yeah so what I discovered is that the passenger side of the frame has these convenient knockout holes here kind of an oval shaped hole I'll show you the other side okay so see that and so that makes that quite easy Because all you do is you take your wrench and you slide it in here with the nut into the, which has a nice shoulder on it. So you slip the nut in on the wrench into the hole, get it positioned, put your bolt in from the top and you're good to go. So passenger side, quite easy. You might even be able to do that with the motor and I'm not sure. But the driver's side, so 
if you look here, you know, they give us a little, there's a little three-eighths hole here on the front. Little one there. And now uh, back here, there was nothing. There was no hole in there. That was just solid. Solid right there. So, I figured, seeing as they can have the passenger side that way, then why didn't they have the driver's side that way? So I've only just drilled a hole there, which I hope is big enough for my 15 millimeter wrench. Um, at this point, I haven't checked that. I guess I'll have to check that here soon. Anyway, I'm gonna bolt them mounts on there right away here. So probably not gonna tape doing it because I just, well, I'm pretty tough, I don't have a anything to mount the camera on or anything like that and it's a tight spot under here anyway and uh, yeah so I'm gonna carry on and get those done probably gonna pause here for a few minutes and uh, take care of that we'll be back okay so you can see how the nut fits into the wrench here quite nicely Okay, so I just wanted to show how, you know, how you get the wrench in here, right? Okay, so nice and easy there, you can see that. And no problem to reach over to the far one. Okay, so now let's see if that baby's going to fit into the hole that I drilled. Oh, and it doesn't. Oh, it does not fit. Oh, enough to make this hole a little bit larger one way or another here and only very slightly too okay hang tough everyone okay so I did a tiny bit of work with my unibit and this just fits in here now just fits in there and as you can see you can get it up there where we need it yeah perfect okay so this is how I resolved my problem oh, come on out. <laughs> okay yeah, now we're stuck in here okay there we go that hole could be just the tiniest bit bigger so I may just give that a tiny bit more work anyway that's how we're uh, dealing with the problem of Getting those Camaro engine mounts bolted back in there. Okay, thanks everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like.